guys so it is like two days later today is wednesday i think last we spoke or you guys saw me was on monday um uh, i am just coming back from the gym i thought about recording or not recording yeah i thought about recording to show you guys my workout but i thought about it after i was already in the gym there and i didn't have my tripod with me and then I tried to record, but the angles just weren't giving. So, um, I don't know. I might have to bring you guys with me to my workout tomorrow. Today I did back, tomorrow I'm doing arms. So, I'll probably bring you guys with me not tomorrow. Anyways, right now I am hungry and I have not eaten since I ate breakfast this morning. So, I'm about to eat lunch and I'm trying to decide if... I want to eat this burnt lasagna <laughs> that my mother made. Some leftovers. It's literally burnt. Um, or if I should make me like a little sandwich. But I don't know which one I want. Um, I think I want something different. I think I'm gonna eat this um, little sandwich, this little chicken sandwich that we got from, I don't know where these came from. I think this came from Costco. They're like already pre-made chicken sandwiches. They're pretty good um, for what it is. So I think I might make this really quick. I wish I had like fries or something to go with it. Let me see. Cause I quite honestly don't feel like eating burnt lasagna. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I should show you guys, but I don't even want to <laughs> put it out there like that. The lasagna is burnt, y'all. And it tastes burnt. I mean, I still ate it, but I don't know. If, I don't really feel like eating that right now. Dang, I don't got no fries. Oh. To eat with this. Y'all, this is what I eat for lunch. I eat, like, really quick microwavable stuff because, like, who's cooking? Not us. Dang, I'm gonna eat it plain. I guess I gotta eat it by itself. I guess if I'm still hungry, I'll make another one. Um, Cause I don't have no side to go with it. So I might end up making two y'all. Is that greedy? If it is, I really don't care. I can eat. I surely can eat and I know that I'm not going to eat again until, what time is it? It's 1.53 right now. So about 2 o'clock. I know for a fact that I'm not going to eat again until like 8, 9 o'clock tonight. So I'm okay with eating those two. 
let me make this real quick and then i don't know i guess i could do a little mukbang with y'all real quick while i eat it but let me fix it up together real quick and then i'll be right back all right you guys so i went ahead and i made my food i'll show you guys i don't know can y'all see yeah again nothing too major I did go ahead and make two in case I feel like um, I'm still hungry and I want to eat both. One of them is a regular chicken sandwich, the other one is spicy. I normally jazz it up a little bit by putting like lettuce and stuff on it, but I don't got no lettuce. So it's just plain ketchup and mayo and yeah, I'm going to taste it. And that's why I'm sitting here eating my lunch. And I have a little mukbang. I know in my last video, um, I talked a little bit about how I felt like I was at like a um like a crossroad in life a little bit I guess like just not knowing what to do and today before I went to go work out y'all know I always um, go walk I do like a mile um, before I go work out that's like my warm-up before I go to the gym I don't know how people um how people do this because I low key just want to smash my food right now. And I feel I feel like like I don't really got time to talk. Like I want to smash this burger, this sandwich. But I'm trying to keep it cute. Uh, so, anyways, yeah, I was walking, and of course, as I walk, I don't got nothing else to do but to just <laughs> walk by myself and talk or listen to music or whatever. Um. So I was as I was walking, I was just thinking, like, you know what I realized. I realize the reason that I may be at like a, not necessarily a standstill, but why I may feel like just confused, like I don't know what to do is because, I think I mentioned it in the last video, I'm used to always having a plan. And I always have a plan because I'm always making a plan. Like I'm really strict on myself and like I have really high high expectations for myself and so I'm very hard on myself and I'm always like making sure I have a plan but um I was thinking about it I was like I realized and it might make it made more sense to me now that like last year was it around this time last year where in September no it was a little bit earlier in the year but last year some events had happened and it made me realize that I cannot do everything on my own. When I had that realization with myself last year, um, I told God, I was like, God, I give up. I finally surrendered to you and I am no longer going to <laughs> attempt or try to plan stuff out or have my way like at this point whatever you have for me whatever you want for me whatever is it's already written planned for me like that's it i'm gonna follow that i'm gonna you lead the way and i'm going to follow you like i'm not even going to attempt um to even try to do anything on my own like i gave up complete control over what I wanted and I did that last year and ever since I did that it was probably one of the best decisions I made but ever since I did that like I just start seeing things just kind of like flow flow um like for the better it may not have been necessarily been what I probably originally had wanted or envisioned for myself but 
I wasn't mad at the way things were flowing because it re I realized like, well, maybe this is better for me. Like it made more, the way things started to flow, it made more sense than, or it turned out to be way better than what I probably was already planning for myself. And so when I started seeing those little changes after I'd done that, like I literally, it's been a year now, a year and a couple months, I literally have not, May I feel like I've been so disciplined. I have not made or attempt to make any type of plans for myself. Every decision, everything that I've decided um, to do has always just been like a like go with the flow type of vibe. Like if it's meant to me, it's meant to be. If that's what's in the plans for my life, then I guess so. But I'm not gonna try to like make any plans for myself. For like yeah, make any plans for myself. And of course, don't get me wrong, I still have an overall kind of, of an idea of what like I want for myself or a vision for myself. But when I say like I gave up on trying to like plan stuff, it's like I'm not trying to, um, I'm not trying, like the way I get to my overall vision for myself, like that's out of my out of my control. I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I stopped doing that. Um, I feel like as I grow my relationship with God, that like my vision for myself aligns with what His may be. I feel like because nothing had really changed. Well. Yeah, I could say it has changed. Ever since I made that decision to stop doing things, I have started to look at things a little bit differently. Like, some there's some things that I had a vision for myself that now I'm like, mm, no, I don't want that anymore. Um, or that's cool and all, but it's not my desire anymore. So yeah, my overall a vision for myself has kind of changed a little bit like there's certain things that i no longer desire that i no longer want and then there's certain things that i do desire more of that i probably was not um as confident about before um but now it's like strongly desire and i like i feel like i have the confidence to try to try to achieve those things so yeah those things have changed and i feel like they align with whatever god's plan is for me um, but to kind of like tie it back into what I originally started, how my last video I was talking about how I don't know any, I don't know anything. I realized that I don't know anything because I made that commitment a year ago that I was no longer going to try to control everything and try to figure everything out. And because I feel like I have been so committed to that and like so disciplined to that, like, that is the reason why I literally don't know anything because I'm, like, so content and comfortable with not knowing because I don't want to try to, <laughs> I don't want to try to figure it out. Because if I try to figure it out, it's probably going to be bad. Not bad, but it's just, it's not going to be what's, it's probably not what's going to be what's best for me. I'm literally trusting God's way like completely and totally trusting his way literally don't know how people sit here and eat and talk because i can't maybe i just like food too much <laughs> like when i actually eat no matter what i'm eating i really appreciate whatever i'm putting into my mouth like i enjoy it so much that i make sure i sit and i actually like indulge in the food <laughs> That sounds like a whole greedy person. <laughs> oh my goodness. So that, but anyway, that's what I was saying. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I realized. I just realized that is the reason why I don't know anything. It's because I'm choosing not to try to figure it out. Because I believe that God's way is better than my way. And so, I'm trying to trust the process. And there's been like, there's been past experiences um, 
where I've seen myself not like try to figure stuff out and things work out in my favor. So that's what I'm like going based off. I'm going based off like, well, I've seen it done. I've seen it happen before. So like I trust that it can happen again or that it is happening again. And so, yeah, y'all, I'm just trusting the process, like literally. As I'm trusting the process, like I kind of feel like I do know what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, it's not like a thought, it's literally like a feeling. Like, I feel like I do know, but I'm scared to admit that I feel like I know because I just don't know if it's just my way of thinking or if it's like God's way of thinking. And then I don't know like if what I feel like I should be doing, like I don't know what the outcome is gonna be of it. I don't know if it's good or bad for me. Like, I don't know if I could be good at it or if, um i'm like capable of doing it and so i think that's really what um really what i was trying to express in the last video where like i feel like i just don't know but low-key i do kind of feel like i know i just don't want to admit that i know because i don't know if what i think i know <laughs> is the right thing or is what i'm actually supposed to be doing and so i feel like i'm kind of just waiting for like someone to like someone or something to like just pop out at me and like make me like this is what you need to do <laughs> or waiting for something or something to like confirm exactly what it is that I think that I know but I don't know it's just fear fear just getting in the way that's all so like what I find myself doing nowadays is kind of like, because I feel like I know, I'm kind of still taking like small little actions um, to kind of like pursue what I think I should be doing. And I'm kind of just taking a risk and just, you know, doing small little things here and there, but I don't feel like I've had fully indulged in it just because I'm just very hesitant like mm, is it me thinking <laughs> or is it me making something up or is it really what I should be doing so I think that's what I was really trying to express uh last year that's another thing that I realized too today I'm like I think I know but I don't want to admit that I know because I don't know if what I know is actually what <laughs> I know or should be doing that was a whole tongue twister and a whole bunch of just gibberish, I know. That's basically all I wanted to talk about for this one month being. I'm not done eating, but I feel like I'm not done eating because I'm talking or trying to talk at the same time. So I'm not going to ever be finished on, finished eating until I stop, talk, <laughs> stop talking. And so, yeah, I think that's my little two cents that I wanted to tell you guys. I'm about to finish eating this food. So I can really dive in <laughs> and um, I will see y'all when I'm done probably. Good morning, you guys. Today is Friday and um, I'm getting out the house. <laughs> oh, I thought I saw something. Uh, yeah, I'm getting out the house. Not kind of, I am getting out the house. Um, so I don't know if y'all remember how I briefly mentioned like my dad has a restaurant or did I mention that? I don't know if I mentioned that, but if I didn't mention that in the earlier clips, my dad has a restaurant, it's a seafood restaurant. And so on Fridays and Saturdays, um, I go and help out at the restaurant. And so that is what my day is going to consist of. <laughs> You know, I'm just thinking to myself. Um, <laughs> I like enjoy sitting in silence. Like, I don't understand how other people can't sit in quiet. I mean, I get it. But then at the same time, I don't. Like, it's just so peaceful. Now
I have this um pumpkin spice um air freshener in my bathroom and like nobody likes it. I say nobody likes it because it's like very strong. You could smell it like outside of the bathroom if I were to like to leave my bathroom door open. So anytime someone walks by they smell it. And no one likes it. I don't know why. I like it. I think it smells good. Let's make it happen, girl. I need some time. Speaking of time, who stopped it? That's the feeling that I get when we lock lips. I got the weed at the crib and the liquor too. I fuck your soul, I release in your spiritual. I be your muse, bring your easel and pencil suit. Here you go, you try and tease with them pictures. You could ride on me just like you ride the elliptical. She said I'm trying to keep it tight for my nigga. Girl, I like your last nigga. All I need is mental. You know I'll work you out, get you right with your physical. Always just another interlude. Asking all the questions, girl, you know I don't do interviews. It's pitiful that when I'm with them other bitches, I pretend it's you. Oh, you work at Coles, you in dental school. Wife and now you folding clothes, cooking dinner too. Young Tiller, girl, I'm known as Pen Griffey too. It's only right that I swing by and hit it too. First base, second base, third base. I'm trying to get you in your birthday. Oh, I know these other niggas thirsty, but please never entertain them, cause that would hurt me, you feel me? Yeah. I know you feel me. Oh, I know you feel me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Huh. Girl, I know you feel me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so much to live for, too, baby. Whoa. Let's not rush into it now. Let's not rush into it. When we get to it, we can give it all that we got. Say I'll keep. Whenever you're like being lazy, you don't really feel like getting dressed like that or getting all did up or just doing the most. Like you're just being lazy, but you gotta get up and you gotta do something that look presentable. Do one or the other. Either do your use all your energy and do your makeup, so that way your hair. It don't really matter, like your hair could look like whatever, but your face done, so. Or, do the opposite. Do your hair, put all the energy into your hair, and then you don't have to do your makeup. As long as one or the other is done, you gonna look all right. All right, um, let me ask you guys. Uh, all right, guys, so I'm back, put on my shirt or whatever. See, look, I look cute. Anywho, I just packed my um, entertainment bag. <laughs> so I just put my laptop and my notebook inside my bag to take with me, to keep me busy if we're slow. Um, now I'm about to make my lunchbox, my snack bag. <laughs> so I'm gonna put y'all down so I can do that. Handy D 
dandy lunch box. Oh, I got stuff in here. This is garbage. This is garbage. Got snacks already in here. I had pasta last night, you guys, so I'm just going to make me some of that. You guys cannot see my face, but I put my tripod up because I'm not taking it with me. I put my tripod up because I'm not taking it with me. I don't want to make it noticeable that I'm vlogging all day. Uh, but then everybody going to want to try to be in. And like, no, it's my vlog. Um, so I got y'all sitting up on the counter. Anywho, I'm going to make some of this. Y'all know I can eat. I did end up eating <laughs> both of those chicken sandwiches that I had the other day, y'all. I was hungry. But like again, like I said, I didn't end up eating again until like late that night, so. So I didn't care. People be wondering how introverts are so entertained and are okay by being by themselves. It's cause babes, we like talk, <laughs> we like talk to ourselves and we entertain ourselves. You hear me over here just making unnecessary loud <laughs> noises and then you get a mad thing. We know how to entertain ourselves. Like I can literally, um, what if I do this? No, I'm not doing that. I can literally um, either sit and have a whole conversation with myself or like, that's kind of weird. I won't say I do that. I don't do that, but <laughs> I can do, I could do that. Or I could sit here if I'm listening to music. I put on a whole freaking concert, y'all. Like a whole concert by myself. And I be killing it. <laughs> I always pack like three to four bottles of water. Knowing damn well, <laughs> I am not gonna drink them all. I'm only gonna drink like one and a half, maybe two. But I be trying to drink more water, y'all. I really do be trying. So I pack them so that I can remind myself that I need to like, so I can see it in here and be like, all right, I need to hurry up and drink this one bottle because I got like three more to go. But y'all, it's hard drinking water. It's not the best thing to be drinking. Not the best of things to be drinking. All right, I got my lunch in there, my water. I put two in there, but I don't think all three of these are gonna fit. So I need to pack some snacks now and I'm running on time surprisingly I guess because I actually got up normally I, I lay in bed to the very last minute but I was like I know I want to film today so let me hurry up and get up because I know it's going to take me longer to film while I'm getting ready dang I don't got no snacks I don't need none I need something I be getting hungry let me just put in some cereal. I know what y'all thinking. That grown ass girl <laughs> is literally about to put some cereal in a plastic bag for a snack as if she's a little pre-K or kindergartner. I sure am. And 
Ya. What about it? Alright. I don't got a really good um lunchbox pack lunchbox pack today, but this will do. Alright, so my lunchbox is packed. My entertainment bag is packed. Now I need to eat really quick. And then I need to go. Because I have not been at the restaurant all week. And I just have a feeling, not a feeling, I almost know for a fact that when I get there, I'm going to have to clean up. And we open at 11 and it's 10 o'clock. It's probably gonna take me like 30 minutes to clean up. <sighs> That's how I'll be starting my mornings at the restaurant. Not the best of times. So I'll be wanting to get there early so I can do all that and then be able to chill before opening. But being that it's 10 o'clock right now and I'm about to eat. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think by the time I get there, I'm going to clean and then it's going to be time to open. So annoying. Where is my... I need to figure out where my mother is. Alright y'all, so I'm going to eat and then I'm going to see you guys when I get to... Uh, when I get to the restaurant. I'll show you guys around a little bit. Just a little bit. So yeah. Okay, so really quick, I just wanted to update you guys, let you guys know that I have made it to the restaurant. It is 1026, but um, just like I expected, I got to clean up because there's some mess in here and I'm a little bit annoyed. So I'm going to do that really quick while I'm a little bit heated and then uh, I'll come back and talk to y'all later. I was going to show you guys around, but it's just <sighs> let me clean up and I'll come back later. All right, you guys, I'm back. I'm a little bit more calmed down. I'm just, uh. <sighs> this is that same water bottle that I had when I was at my house. Still on bottle number one. Anywho. <sighs> you know how, like, I don't know if it's just me, but I just get annoyed when like, you haven't been somewhere in a while and you come back and it's like, everything is just <laughs> out of order. And like, you have to play the fixer upper. You have to clean everything up. And it's like, not even your mess <laughs> to clean up. Like I wanted to just come in here and just chill, start the day off right not start the day off cleaning like that's annoying anywho i'm about to <sighs> it's what time is it it's 11 04 so it's in like 30 minutes to clean um sorry hold on y'all i'm trying to log into my laptop and it won't let me use my fingerprint and I don't for, I forgot what my password is let me let me figure this out really quick oh okay I figured it out um so yeah I'm about to what am I about to do Oh, I need to finish this ebook. Finish this ebook. I gotta send my dad some stuff. And yeah. Let me um what do people say? Get in my zoom really quick. <laughs> Let me knock out some a middle share of work really quick. For like the next hour or so and I might check in with you guys later or I don't know. 
I'm not gonna show you guys around the restaurant, so. <laughs> Uh, I may see you guys later if I'm not doing anything, if it's not busy, or I might just see y'all when I get home at the end of today. I don't know, y'all. We're gonna see where the day takes us. But yeah, I'm about to zoom in real quick. Good morning, you guys. I don't really have anything to say much. I just realized that I did not close out the vlog or do an outro for the vlog. And so, I really just have to, hold on, let me get myself together. Y'all still can't see me. There we go. Um, so yeah, I realized that I didn't do an outro, because I thought I was going to continue vlogging. Well, I was supposed to continue vlogging, but yesterday was not a rest day i just needed to prioritize some other stuff so i did that really proud of myself for that um and so yeah i want to come out here close out the vlog really quick because i'm about to get ready to start a new vlog <laughs> for you guys um so this one's gonna be the end of this one as you can see i took out my hair i gotta put it up in a ponytail right now because i'm about to go work out really quick and i need to wash it um and i took it out in preparation for this weekend which is what's going to be the new vlog um going to orlando for my best friend's birthday and so i needed to take out my hair so i can wash it because it's dirty it's been braided up for like a month in like a couple days so i needed to wash it refreshing it and stuff and honestly i'm gonna braid it right back up and put back <laughs> on the wig but i just needed to let it breathe for a little bit before i do that so um yeah i'm gonna end the vlog here just wanted to come back and do that for you guys and yeah i will see you guys in my next one thanks for watching